Well, welcome back. This is video number two of four. And uh, Ted, you had given us a lot of great information in the uh, in the last video that we did. And I want to I want to make sure that people get caught up, whether they didn't weren't able to watch the first video or if they're coming in, you know, on the second one. Could you kind of review with the people that are watching about the tax lien certificates? Okay, uh, folks, uh, I've been in the same business for thirty years, and uh, I'm an author and a publisher. And way back in the days of the Multiple Income Stream book, I wrote chapter ten of that book. Robert Allen asked me to do that, and I've been teaching with Tony Robbins and and Robert Kiyosaki and those people for years and years. Uh, I'll tell you about the business. It's been around for two hundred years. It's older than I am. Oh my God, two hundred years. All right, so it's two hundred year old business, and it's very simple. Every legislature in every state has passed a law that you must pay property tax. If you don't pay property tax in half of the states, they'll charge you a, a, charge you in a tax lien certificate, they'll charge you interest. The other half of the states, they'll confiscate your property. So I created a business which was around 170 years before I discovered it. And when I discovered it, it's a simple business to teach you how, how you can make money on tax lien certificates and you can make on your money, you can make 16, 18, 24, you can make up to 36% and the check comes to the government. You can't invest with me, you're gonna invest with the government, you're gonna get a check back from the government. Or you can buy tax defaulted property, those are sold by the local county at a public auction and the starting bid is the back taxes. So those properties are sold 10 cents, 20 cents on the dollar and those auctions take place every year. A place like Texas, they will have every month they're authorized to have 250, which is 250 counties, 254 yeah. counties will have an auction. So there's plenty of it. This is a business of abundance. I mean, big time abundance. Well, you've been very thorough about explaining the tax lien certificates. And um, I'm, I would imagine that many people, unless they're heavily involved in investing or in real estate and so forth, aren't familiar with this. But is this kind of thing available in every state? Okay, this is not only available in every state. Uh, nationwide, we have over 3,000 counties and we have another 1,400 municipalities. Those are all individual taxing districts. So you'll hear me say it over and over. Uh, in all 3,000 plus counties, these certificates are available and the properties are available. There's going to be, there's 100 million properties in the United States. Two or 3% are going to go into default. That's just because people pass away, because people move because people forget they should pay taxes, people abandon things, whatever. So that's only two or 3%. But that two or 3% is two or 3 million properties that you and I can buy for 60%, 70%, 80% discounts from the county. You can't buy from Ted Thomas. You can't give me your money. I'm an educator and I teach people how to do it. So why hasn't anybody else talked about this? Why hasn't a broker told me about this? Why, why isn't this more known as, as viable as this is? Well, first of all, the, the um, broker isn't going to tell you, financial planner isn't going to tell you, attorney isn't going to tell you, uh, financial advisor isn't going to tell you. And it's always the same reason. All of the people I just mentioned, whether it's an attorney or a broker or a financial advisor, they all make their money on commissions, all right? Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how they make money. So you're gonna be a broker, you make money in commission. In other words, you make money on results. All right, so all of those people make money on results. The government said, this is taxes. If you're gonna do this, you're gonna follow a specific government program, which is what I teach you. I teach you in your state, they'll sell tax certificates. You happen to be in Illinois and a tax certificate, you can earn all the way up to 36%. You won't give me money. I'll teach you how to do it. And you'll give your money to the state. You'll get all your money back from the state plus the high interest. If I teach you to buy it in Texas, you'll actually get a deed to the property, okay? And you'll get it from the local county. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. And if you can get a, a property in Texas for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar with no mortgage on it, that's the best deal you're ever gonna make in your life. This is happening every day in over 3,000 counties across the United States. So Ted, I know that people that are watching this video, they're watching us right now, 
Um, most of the people are in the United States, but I do have people who are outside of the United States that are watching right now. Is this something that can only be done in the United States? Uh, uh, you can do this now with the internet. Now, when I started, there was no, you know, internet, but you can do this in any place in the world online. But there's a caveat. You have to have an American, a USA bank account. Why? Because the United States is the United States and they only speak one official language. And that means the counties all speak English. So if you try to give them uh, Canadian dollars, which I have a lot of business in Canada, or you try to give them Aussie dollars, or you try to give them Thailand money, or you try to give them money from Singapore, it's not gonna work because they're gonna say, we, we don't know what to do with this money because they don't know that. But if you have an American bank account, you can do it from anywhere you wanna sit that you can plug in, into the Wi-Fi and do it. So I have clients, United Kingdom, all the provinces of Canada, uh, Singapore, Thailand, wherever you wanna be. They can be wherever they want to do this. I just had a guy, this is amazing even to me, he bought eight properties, eight properties paying 10, 15 cents on the dollar He's from Hong Kong, from Hong Kong. Now, of course, they're shutting down all the communications from there, if you understand the politics of, of all that, but they're shutting that down. But he has an American account, so he bought eight properties at one auction. Wow. Wow, wow. wow. And, but in, so if you're established, as long as you're established in the United States and you have that secure establishment, you can, you can operate this from outside the United States. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, so, so, some of the, uh, a lot of major cities, you know, Citibank and Bank of America will have a have an office, so you can have American bank account there and be yeah. doing it here. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So it's not um, unusual. I mean, so, I actually teach it in Thailand. I teach it in Australia. I go there and teach three days. The rooms are full. Yeah. We're packed. We have to leave all the doors open because there's so damn many people in the room. Yeah, they're, they're doing it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I hate to say it, you said this is a 200 year old. Uh, uh, business and that but it's really it's really largely untapped yet based on all of the people so so with that said let's i'm i'm a beginner what do yeah. you what do you recommend what should i buy should i be buying uh, tax lien certificates or should i be buying the tax defaulted properties okay well if you're like me and you got a lot of gray hair and you're a little older you want to be uh, pretty conservative so start out with buying some tax liens. Now, not $500, but uh, a tax lien, uh, first of all, a tax on a house is one or 2%, so it's not very much. So spend two or $3,000 on multiple ones and learn the business a little bit. Then when you're ready, there's gonna be plenty of tax defaulted property. Now, some people say, look, I don't need those tax liens. If I can buy a tax defaulted property, whether it be in Cuyahoga County, I said it wrong, sorry, uh, if in Columbus, uh, wherever it might be, if I can buy a property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, it's got no mortgage, I can figure out the rest of it because it has a value in the marketplace. So let's say the value is uh, 100,000 for a house. Okay, that's not, that's a, that's a decent house, but you bought it for 20,000. Anybody can figure out that margin. So that, that's what the business is. Now, did I say go buy in the ghetto? Did I say go buy junk? I said, no, and I'm not even suggesting such a thing. You want to have looked at the property, make sure that, that it's a decent quality and you can resell it. So basically what we teach people, we teach them buy them low, sell them low and do it fast. That's what we teach them. Yeah, yeah. So, so in the first video, you referenced several different newspapers that had the, uh, the properties listed. And, and like the one you showed in Miami had thousands of them listed. 65,000. Uh, yeah, and, and, and you've talked about how this can be done online. But what if I want to go to the actual auction? Because I mean, my first thought is, is that if I were going to do this and test this, I'm going to go where I know, and I may want to do it in my own county with that kind of possibility. So what are the auctions like? Are we talking about, so if there's 65,000 properties, are there 100 people there? Are there 20 people there? What, what are the auctions like? Okay, now when I said 65,000, that was tax lien certificates. So right. that was 65,000 pieces of paper. Listen to it. All right but a property auction, all right, so let's use different places. So if it's a small population county, in other words, a rural county with 30,000 people, you're only gonna have 26 or 22 properties or something like that. All right, now if you wanna to go to a large population county, let's go to Houston, Texas. Okay, so that's Harris County, 
they will have every month, listen to what I said, every month, they will have 200 plus properties that they are auctioning for starting bid back taxes. All right, if you wanna to go to Los Angeles, we'll do at least one auction a year. They will have in Los Angeles, big county, a lot of people. I've gone to the auction there and there's between a thousand and 2000 properties for auction. The auction book, and I'll have one here. Maybe I got one on my desk, let me see. I'll have an auction book. I'll find one right here. Here's one, okay. Right on my other desk. My assistant came running in to help me. Okay, here's a, here's a, a book from Los Angeles. And this is the auction list. <laughs> That's one auction. Wow. One au Talk about a business of abundance that people don't know about. That's amazing. Every page has got five or 10 properties on every single page. These properties are starting, these properties, values are starting at $400,000, $600,000, at 2 million, 5 million. It's, it's all there. And you're able to I've get never seen an auction in Seattle that had less. Now, Seattle is, is the hottest market in the United States. And I can tell you, I've never seen less than 200 properties. So you have to keep in mind when I'm showing you things, I'm either talking about, for example, this is a, 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 an auction book for Los Angeles. They're selling property. Okay. This is a list of tax liens from Tampa, Florida. And this newspaper ha has no pictures. It has it has forty thousand certificates in it. That those are lists of certificates. It's a business of abundance. There's so much; it's unbelievable. All right, here, let me get a couple of these others that I've got here. Okay, let's go to New York. Dutchess County is right up the street from New York City, hundred miles. There's an auction brochure. It says right there, 113 properties. Okay, it shows me pictures of them. I haven't even gone there. Okay, now I can tap in and go online and I can look at every one of those uh, every one of those properties. We can teach you every step of doing this, sitting at the desk you're sitting at now. And you know, want to know something? If you tell your neighbor what you learned today, they're probably going to call and try and get you committed. Yeah. Yeah. It's happening across America. People have no idea. So, so, so I know I'm being redundant, but just to drive this right. home, with people that are watching us right now. I mean, you talked about the tax defaulted properties and that, but with the tax lien, I mean, how many total tax liens in America do you think that are available? Oh my God, oh, I, I have no idea. I could tell you, I live in Florida and in Florida, every May and June, May and June, they will sell the tax certificates, okay? They don't do it every day, you can go every day, but. They'll have the major one in the newspapers and they will have just in Florida. Now, Florida is now, we have now 20 million because everybody's moving out of New York. So they come here, a thousand people a day come to Florida. All right, now in Florida, they will have 1 million certificates available every May. 1 million property owners didn't pay the tax and you can pay the tax. Wow. That's been going on since I've been here and I've been here for 25 years. So I heard you say earlier, it may have been earlier in this video or in the last video, you used Georgia as the example that the minimum uh, payment in Georgia is like 20%. I mean, is that, is that true? Is that real? All right. Now, Georgia is my favorite state. Now, I'm in Florida. I live in Florida. I'm in a studio in the back of my office right now. And uh, I, I'm a practitioner. In other words, I do this. Okay, I buy online, I go to auctions, I do all that. Now, I love to go to auctions, by the way, because you, if you watch and use your right strategies, which I could teach you, it's, it's amazing because you can really make deals. But anyway, uh, Georgia is my favorite state. And here's why. So in Georgia, I don't have a picture out right now. Georgia has 159 counties and they have an auction every month. So that means there's 159 auctions every month. And if I raise my hand like this and I buy, they're going to sell me a deed to the property. A deed means I, I, I'm going to own that property. They're going to sell it to me. But the deed has a restriction. And the deed said, anytime in the first year, that property owner can come in and buy the deed back. It's called redemption, not like in the religious term, but redemption. Okay. That means they can come in and get their property back. Now, to get their property back, listen to what I'm going to say, because you're not going to believe it. 
to get the property back, they have to give me whatever I paid. It doesn't matter what I paid. They have to give me that plus 20%. All right, now, in Georgia, if I buy the tax defaulted property today, the tax deed today, and they come in and pay me tomorrow, they have to give me back all of my money plus 20% in one day. If they pay me in 10 days, 20%. They pay me in 150 days, 20%. Now, wait, it's going to get better. Now, see, people don't know the business. So let's say this is day one, and we're going to go all the way down to day 365. On day 365, I can foreclose because they haven't paid me. I tell my clients, oh, don't foreclose. Let it go over to day 366. And on that day, you start earning at 30%. And if you wait another year, it's 40%. And if you wait another year, it's 50%. And I know you don't believe a word I said, but it's in the statute. The statute is a big, thick book of rules for the state of Georgia. Every state is different. That's why you need to get trained. That's why I do an all-day class once a month. My all-day workshop starts at 11, it goes to 6. If you think you're learning a lot now, what if I put four people helping me do this, and we do this from 11 in the morning to 5? Your head's going to be going like this, because you never heard about all this, and this has been available to you, but no one's going to tell you. The attorney won't tell you. Your broker won't tell you. Financial planner won't tell you. Why? Because they don't have a payday. I'm an educator. I'm going to tell you everything you want to know. Yeah. Yeah. I have I have students all over the world. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. this is the real deal. I didn't make it. It's sponsored, administered, and mandated by the local state. That state runs the rules. All I'm doing, you can't give me any money. You're going to give it to the government. I can just teach you how to do it. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Signed up. Absolutely. But before I get to the class and I talk about the class, I have one last question. With why would somebody then want to buy the tax certificates when they can buy the deeds? Oh, well, a tax certificate is so conservative. So a tax certificate, you raise your hand, you buy the certificate, you're going to get a piece of paper like this. All right, now you've got that piece of paper. You take the piece of paper home, or you'll get it in the mail, one the other, and you put it on your desk. Then you just sit on your rusty dusty. That's right. Sit on your assets. You don't have anything to do. You just wait and the clock goes tick, 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 tick like this. All right. They're either going to come in and pay you 97, 98%. Or if they don't pay you, so if they come in and pay you in Florida, you can make up to 18%. Okay. In Iowa, you can get paid 24%. Okay. In, uh, in other states, you can make 16, like in Arizona. All right. So you can make that rate of return. Compare that with a bank. So that's a nice, easy investment. So someone's going to say, well, wait a minute, Ted. Huh? What if the people don't pay me? Well, if the people don't pay you, go back and look at video one. That guy put up 14000 and he ended up making 169000 So for every dollar he invested, he made another, he made $16. Why? Because you will be war awarded the property. I'm not going to award you the property. The law will award you the property. You either pay taxes in this country or you lose the property. You either pay taxes or you lose the property. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So if you want a tax certificate, you get paid or you, all right. So those people like that. Now, there are people, hard to believe, that don't like real estate. So if you tell them, look, I want you to come with me. We're going to go to Jacksonville, Florida, and we're going to buy some $110,000 houses. We're going to try and get them for 25 cents on the dollar if we're lucky. But they say, oh, I don't want any of those properties. I don't want tenants. I don't want trash. I don't want toilets. So they don't want any of that stuff. So that's the difference. So okay. one is a more of an ent entrepreneur. The other is more conservative investor. So it's excellent. two different people. This appeals yeah. to everybody. Yeah, excellent. The best thing to do is use your pension plan to do this. Use your IRA, your pension plan. You don't have to pay taxes. How good is that? That's excellent. That's <laughs> hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, well, that's yeah. a lot. Um, I'm keeping an eye on the clock here, folks, so that we don't get no too- No problem. Don't worry about it. Um, but if, if, if you- as Ted said, he's a teacher. You can't give him any money, but he's going to teach you this stuff. If you are ready, then click the button below to register for that class. Normally, Ted charges $97 for that class. And again, as he said, it goes from 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. It's an all-day thing. But um, I've asked Ted to make a special concession because you know me, and uh, Ted is going to offer that class out at $47. So if you're ready to get registered, 
click on that link right now below us there to get registered for that. If you're still not convinced, we're going to be coming back very shortly with a third video. Uh, anything last comment before we close this out, Ted, and go on to uh, to. No, uh, you know what I'll do it is I, I I won't have a time up for the second one, but I'm going to end this video for you folks of a guy that bought. He was stayed in Saskatchewan, Canada, and the video explained it all. And he bought in Riverside County, and sitting in his basement, sitting in his basement, he made twenty thousand dollars. So you get to see that video as soon as we finish right now. And that'll be right now. I'm, I'm, I want to see it. My name is Kelly Osmack, and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm a Ted Thomas student. I had purchased a, a lot in Riverside County at Riverside. Uh, I purchased it for thirty-five thousand, and uh, after I got my title, I listed it. It was listed for a month, and I got a full cash offer of fifty-five thousand dollars U.S. After that deal, I went to the uh, Kitsap County in Washington and purchased a five-acre parcel. Um, in uh, Kingston and I paid 131,000 for that property. Uh, it's, it was a, had a 1,300 square foot uh, manufactured home and a barn on the property. Really nice property. I had it listed at 280 and I received a full price offer in four days.